the year that we, our deliverability has gone up, we have seen close to like 100% increase in terms of our business. Dan Go has a fitness business where he helps creators live healthier lives. He shares tips through his newsletter where he also tells people about his paid coaching and online courses. But Dan was running into a problem. His subscribers were not getting his emails. If your emails are not reaching a person's inbox, it's gonna affect your business significantly. Here's what Dan did to boost his open rate from 20% up to 52% percent in just 60 days, which had a huge impact on his business. The business has grown significantly. More people are reading the email <laughs> and more people are getting the email. Dan was originally with another email platform and he saw his deliverability dropping. Deliverability is just how often the email that you send actually lands in the inbox and not in the spam folder or somewhere else. Dan thought that part of the problem was some of the formatting issues that he was seeing in his emails. Even though the formatting was great on the actual like page where I sent it off, the formatting would come off like whack when the email would send out and I'd be like super embarrassed about that. His open rate at the time was about 20% and he was frustrated. The low deliverability I thought was me. And I was just like, okay, well, my my emails just suck. So Dan started talking to his other creator friends about the problem and they all had the same response. They are all saying like, why are you so stupid <laughs> why aren't you why aren't you with convertkit yet but switching felt like it would be a lot of work so he put it off and as his deliverability eventually got worse and worse he knew that he had to make a change and he found out that convertkit will handle the entire migration process if you have over 5000 subscribers which he did convertkit will move over the list the tags the groups the segments the forms the sequence emails the email templates and the automations so dan decided to make the move and one of the best parts of the move was that he started to get email replies again. And then when I flipped over to ConvertKit and I saw the deliverability on ConvertKit and I saw people actually like responding back to my emails and replying back to my emails because they're actually getting to their inbox. They're actually saying like, oh yeah, I haven't heard from you in like so long, even though I've been sending these emails. So after I started to get fast results with like uh, ConvertKit, at least in terms of like the deliverability, I was just like, well, okay, well, this is super cool. I'm able to reach double the amount of people without having to double the email list that I have. So after switching to ConvertKit and noticing that more people were receiving receiving his emails, he thought about how he could get even more people to open those emails. He looked at how he was adding people to his list and what he was telling those people in those emails. Before, if he wanted to get people on his list, he would host a webinar and then people would exchange their email in order to sign up for that webinar and it worked. But he wanted to try something different. So he started asking people just to join solely for his newsletter. Instead of like trading something for their email, I'm basically saying, hey, if you wanna to listen to what I say and get deeper with me, here's my newsletter. There there is a different energetic exchange when that happens. If you want to get on the newsletter, you're coming here for the newsletter, you're expecting a newsletter, that's what you're opening your emails for, then that's what you're going to get. So he then really started to focus on his writing. He wanted to make sure that every email he sent was worth opening and was valuable to all of the readers, even if they never ended up buying anything from him. Went from like being a direct response writer to treating my newsletter like a magazine article is the bit one of the biggest like changes in terms of my writing. So the switch to ConvertKit along with his new strategy started to have a big impact on his business. First week that I sent out the emails, I would say the first two weeks, it was about 34%. After about a month, it turned into 40%. After we got into say like January, 2023, that's when it got up to like the 50%. Every single email that I send right now, I get like tons of people just replying back, just saying like, this was awesome. This was so cool. I love reading your newsletter every single week. And, and to me, that feedback is, is golden. And because Dan was focusing on building a genuine relationship with his readers, Readers, those readers in turn wanted to work with him even more. The year that we've been working with like ConvertKit and the year that we, our deliverability has gone up, we have seen close to like 100% increase in terms of our business. And to top it off, Dan's list went from about 50,000 readers to over 160,000 readers. More than 24,000 of those subscribers came from recommendations in the creator network. With all of that growth, including the subscribers that he gained from the creator network that weren't as familiar with Dan when they originally signed up, there hasn't been a negative impact on his deliverability and it's actually still increasing. It's kept on growing and our deliverability and uh, our open rates have kept on going up. Ever since using ConvertKit, I haven't looked back. It's a driving force behind my business. So if you're interested in making the move to ConvertKit, there is a link down in the description as well as right here on the screen to our migrations page. And we'll take care of the entire process. If you've got over 5,000 subscribers, if you've got less than that, we will still help you move over to ConvertKit. Also, our CEO, Nathan Berry, was recently 
on Dan Goes Podcast. And you can check out that interview right over here on Dan's YouTube channel. We'll see you on the migrations page and then over in the interview.